Hello, my name's Elias. I'm really just your average eighth grade student. So an opportunity like this doesn't come around very often. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and so when the opportunity to join a TEDx speech popped up, I really couldn't resist, so here I am. Um, so besides, there's something that's been bugging me and a lot of students across the globe and across all grade levels since really the beginning of schooling. And this is the simple question of why. Why am I learning this in class and why does it matter? Does it matter and should it matter? Disclaimer, I am not a curriculum coordinator. I'm an eighth grade student. So I'm sure there is a lot of work putting into what we're learning and whether it matters or not and whether we're learning it. I'm just putting a perspective on what I often wonder about <coughs> and shedding some light on it. So, in this talk, I'm hoping to bring myself and all of you as we wonder into why middle school students, in particular, are learning what we are. So, to start, how many of you can think of a tangible answer to this question, what x equals, what y equals, and why I would need it in real life? Raise your hands. Yeah, one, two. Eighth grade students, does, doesn't count. You, you, you just learnt this, doesn't, that doesn't count. Um, so yeah, two people. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm not gonna count it out, but yeah, probably less than half. So that's a um, good question. Why am I learning it if at least half the audience, more than, doesn't actually know it? And so, that, that, that's really my whole talk. So, the problem is that I have to do the diploma if I want to get into a good university. But I don't really want to study maths. But I do need to study maths if I want the diploma. And I don't really know what I'll do in life. So, if I do want to become a maths teacher or an engineer, I'm going to need this kind of knowledge. But by eighth grade, I have a pretty solid understanding of what I don't want to do. And I can tell you, maths is not my favorite subject. In fact, it's a subject I, I, I struggle with. So I'm not going to be teaching it. And engineering, eh, nah. Um, so many eighth graders also feel the same of studying subjects that they think they're just going to throw out the window when they turn 18. So here's another question. Maybe I do need the maths. So I'm lining up in the supermarket. I need to make a calculation on price, but it's not simple enough to do in my head. Which am I going to have in my pocket? My handy notepad and pen or my phone with a calculator? How many of you in the audience have their phone on you right now? And how many of you have a pen and paper? One person, thank you. You see my point. So I've been focusing on maths a lot and that's because that's a subject I feel that I often ponder about the most but this is the same in any other subject across the board. So, why? I interviewed my teachers to find out exactly that. And of them, five subjects responded. And so, I'm gonna quickly go into each subject's responses as a better idea of why we are learning it. So to start off, design. Design is important for creativity and self-esteem in students creativity when you are designing your actual product and it actually is quite beneficial to use your own design to solve a problem and it gets you the feeling of, yeah, I did that. And then, uh, Langlet or languages, whatever it is in your country, um, and English uh, and Chinese or whatever the other equivalent language that you're studying. These are both important for be, if you want to become bilingual. That's very helpful in getting a job. It's also beneficial to understanding the culture and just everyday life language. Um, next is science. And science is all around us. The chairs you're sitting on are made of atoms. There's convection currents right now. So my science teacher said that people live better lives if they actually understand the world around them and what's happening. So when I look at all these subjects, I don't really see them as just subjects. I see connections between the subjects. And while in school, it makes perfect sense to divide everything up into subjects. In real life, that's not how it works. Everything is connected. So 
times are changing. And this classic approach to schooling of everybody just learned this is quickly becoming not necessarily outdated, but there are newer methods that are arising in the public eye. And so, I think that students should have more choice in the subject that they're studying because I'm forgetting a lot of what I'm learning. I can't remember my last Chinese unit, and I would much rather have to just, if I don't know something, Google it rather than learn it, forget it, and then Google it anyway. It just makes more sense. <laughs> um, so, here's another example of something I feel is not really that useful that I'm learning. So in math, here is the idea that John is the owner of a shop. He hires four sales assistants and one security guard, and his daily payroll is $480. While two sales assistants and one security guard require a daily payroll of 300, write two equ equations in terms of X and Y to represent the information, blah, 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 blah. So what is the daily wage of a sales assistant, and what's the daily wage of a security guard? Well, Mass would say, yeah, go write your equation and solve it. Me is just going, Rock up, ask the dude, and he'll tell you. You don't need to you don't need to write it down, figure out, oh yeah, what's it mean? Just ask. And this is what I don't understand where I'm sitting here at my desk learning my maths when all I want to do is just go and ask the guy and save myself all this time. So I feel that schools should invest more time in accurate examples of why I need this in real life rather than easy shortcuts. So here we go. Is it worth it? <laughs> now, the, quest the, pre the problem is, I don't know if it's worth it, because there's so many different conflicting opinions and perspectives and ideas that it's impossible to get a concrete answer of whether it is worth it. However, um, I do think I will be continuing this subject into high school and hopefully connecting the dots to find a better idea. But until then, I will leave you with the same question I've been asking myself, is it worth it? Thank you.